I am going to share with you though what I rem remember of GCSE results day to try to make it a little a little bit easier for you really what to expect when you pick up your results what you should be feeling on results day it's absolutely fine to be nervous everybody's going to be nervous nobody knows what to expect especially in the current climate so on results day I went into school to collect my results I know it may not necessarily be the same for you and I was quite happy to pick them up take them home open them with my mum you know I didn't really want the fuss of opening them in school I wanted it to be in quiet if I hadn't done as well as I hoped I had done um but the teachers were keen to see me open the envelope there and then. Uh, they, they wanted a genuine reaction to my results that they could catch on camera. So, um, the, your teachers know your results the, the day before you do. So they will have prepared support for you, um, you know, advice on where you're going, congratulations if they're in order as well. Uh, so, so, you know, they, they know how well their students have done. So if you are in in need of support on results day your teachers are definitely the best the best place to go uh, in my opinion anyway um i opened my results at school and eventually you know it was amazing it was the most amazing feeling uh, that i'd had to date then um it it was like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders the relief was there all that nervousness uh, you know i wasn't anxious anymore i, I was back to being my old self uh, I open my results, and I will sound like one of those annoying people I mentioned before now, who have always got A stars because I got two A stars, six A's, two B's and a C, and you know I, I had tried really, really hard. You know I had I had worked hard, I had revised, um, and and it paid off essentially. I passed every single subject and every single exam I took. The first thing I did then was phone my mum told us to get to the school uh, miraculously I had aced it and I say miraculously because even though I had worked hard there was lots going on at the time I suppose I was getting my first flavor of what real life was like um, my grandfather had passed away from cancer during the middle of the series and at the end of the series I was gearing up to participate in a world record attempt that I hoped he'd be there to watch and uh, unfortunately you know I I was in. I was under the knowledge now that I was. I'd be doing it in his memory rather than him watching on the sidelines of me break this world record for the world's longest ever football match. I was also presenting my own radio show at the time, to uh, to which my grandfather was an avid listener. Had been presenting for around two years at that stage, so yeah, you know that was difficult as well. I had to keep that going throughout my GCSEs, um, throughout everything that was going on as well. Um, and then my mum was telling me I was doing too much and I would burn out. I was I was taking on too much of a burden to myself and, and I wasn't doing myself any good. And I look back now and I think probably they were right. But at the same time, I'm, I'm not sure whether I would have achieved what I had achieved if I, if, if I hadn't have taken on so much. Anyway, it, it turned out to be one of the happiest days of my life. I got full marks in that Welsh exam I opted to take against the advice of the examiner, the, the exams officer at school um, on the day that my grandfather actually passed away. And that's where one of my A stars came from. You, you know, to, my point being, try to find yourself a reason to succeed, some sort of motivation to celebrate, and you won't have any problems on results day. If there's any reason to celebrate, it's just getting through the exams, because it is the hardest experience that, that you will have faced in your life up to this point. And I know results day will be different for you, depending on your school. You might have appointments to collect your results, or you may receive them via email in the morning. All the details will be confirmed by your school, should have been confirmed by your school by now as well. Your appointment slots should be by form class, I think. Um, during this time, you register for sixth form if you're staying on and seek advice or support if you're leaving school or if you weren't intent on leaving, but your grades weren't good enough to stay at school. A lot less faff if you ask me. I think, you know, we... we we hear about second waves of coronavirus in particular. Uh, it may well be that this is the new normal for results day for a good few years to come at least.